everybody, this is Tembion and I'm back with another third party Transformers video review. This time I have Fans Project's Retro Future Glacial Lord Tuscore. This is the, the main body for the uh, Retro Future old, or new figure and old style kind of um, combiner. And as you can see the box looks like it is tore up. Um, but it's actually, it's actually a part of the way that they've packaged these, these toys where they look like they have all creases and a bunch of shelfware. This thing looks like it has a lot of um, was it sun damage where it uh, it bleaches out the box, but that's actually how it's how it's released, how it was made. So um, you know you can see it on this corner right here is where where you mainly get the uh, the sun damage on it. Um, it's it's really funny. That's I I, I do enjoy that. So. Um, but here you go, you have the figure in its in its robot mode. Oh, uh, yeah, once again, it's the uh, the crazy art right here, the crazy G1-esque type art. And then you can see the figure inside there. And um, so, let's see, it's not even, like, remotely red. Like, on this side, see, you can see it's red and what colors it's supposed to be. But then it all looks blue right here where it's ble been bleached out by the sun. So, check that out and then see the back of it. You have a... Um, like on Mega Zero, you have this little picture right here, which shows um, some past and future releases of, of things that fans projects are going to put out. This is kind of has me interested. This 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 robot right here. I'm not really sure what he is. Uh, it looks like he has a car here and then a car here up on the thigh. So I don't know. I'm trying to think of of what they've released. Uh, is that Minasaur? Maybe that's what that's supposed to be. Okay. Well. Um, that would that would be a cool idea for them to do to make like a, a super combiner where even in this retro future style that would be sweet where like each joint would be a different a different vehicle so you would have like one for the um, the shin area one for the thigh maybe a couple for the body one for like the upper part of the arm another one for uh, the forearm. I don't know. That would that would be pretty cool. It would be huge, but that would be. I think that would be cool. Um, since they've been doing some of their own some of their own things recently, so it, it, here's the top of the box where you have the the sun damage on there, and it looks like there's a big old gash in there and stuff. But that's all printed onto the box. Where, and then uh, fun part right here is is you have what looks like cells from or pictures from the uh, from the cartoon where it has them has them in the cartoon and has all the figures so you have one of them in combined mode and then you have one of them with you know the two two different characters right here one right here and two more right here that's 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 pretty nice I do like that so let's go ahead and get this guy open and uh, check him out okay so. all right so let's go ahead and get this guy open and check him out So, uh, once again, he is in the, a big old chunk of styrofoam. And here's some instructions. And there's his little, his little figure guy. His little woolly mammoth. And his shield. So, let me... so you take the shield, and uh, you want to take it, and there's a couple of little peg holes and different things. There's this right here, peg right here, and then these two pegs right here. You go into here, here, and then uh, here, right right there. So you take all those and arrange those all up. And then you got that. He has no tail. Uh, and once again, checking out the instructions. You know, the instructions are normal. Um, I think these are these are still zigzag instructions, um, but you know, taking a look at the stickers again, they are you know half of them are removed. So yeah, the instructions are are still uh, the zigzag kind of thing. So all right, so we'll get this out. 
So here's the, uh, the little minifigure guy. So you can see he has everything already attached to him. So, uh, um, well, sorry. Uh, let me show you this real quick. This right here, you can take this panel, flip it back, and then that's where he rides on top of the woolly mammoth. So you got that, and pull him out. And then uh, for articulation, you don't really get anything with the legs. I think you may get, no, you don't even get anything on that. Basically, you get um, the, basically you just get a little bit with the, um, gosh, you don't even get that much with the, yeah, you get that much there and there, gosh. So you don't even get that much articulation with his trunk. So I'm going to flip that back up. Take this off and uh, start the transformation. We want to take this piece off right here. And lay it on to the side. I think we flip that up. I'm trying to remember exactly what we need to do. We need to take these, flip these four. There are tabs right here. So tab in and then tab that in. And then so then we take this and we go. Flip that back, flip it like that. Then you want to take this, flip this out to make the legs like that. And you can pull these apart a little bit. And then you take and come up here. Let me go ahead and flip out these feet. So you flip out the feet like that. And then we'll come back here. Let me lift up the camera so you can see kind of what's going up here at the top. So you want to take this and flip this out like this, flip it down, and you have the hands and, and everything, and you have some ratcheting joints. And then uh, for the little core guy, what you want to do is take him, fold him up, and then you want to slide him down into here. Uh, first time I did this, he didn't go all the way down, so you kind of have to, see it's not going all the way down. You have to kind of, uh, you kind of have to mess around with them a little bit. So there he goes. And then you flip this panel right here, it actually flips up and makes his head. So <laughs> he has absolutely no articulation on his head. I guess you could leave it down like that if you want him to have a little bitty head. Alright, so there he is. Like that. You kind of rotate these out like this. They, they kind of look a little cut in but if you want to you can take this and flip this around you can have some stuff on the top but it's not it's not supposed to be like that it's supposed to be like that so um, flipping that around is supposed to be for um, his combined mode so just just leave it like that and see he's pretty back heavy so let me push him forward a little bit and then you take this the the trunk and you make it straight like that and it becomes a little gun there's a handle right there and you just want to take it and put it in his fist like that. And then you can take this, you flip this out, and then this attaches to his shoulder. And then it's the shield right there. So and that's test score in his robot mode. So far as articulation, this guy has far more articulation and it was always kind of like that with the uh the middle pieces. So um he has no head articulation because it's a it's a dummy head. Uh, you can raise the shoulders up. You can flip them forward. Uh, they are in a ratcheting joint. Then there's a elbow right here. There's no turn or anything like that or any kind of anything here on the hands. There's nothing at the waist. There is a joint right here, but you can only move the, the leg forward. You can't move it back because there's uh, a little panel right there that hinders it but you can move the uh, the knee back you can also move it forward and then the toe can move up so but you're pretty much not gonna need that you're gonna need to lean him forward because he has a very heavy back see because very heavy back um, so that's pretty much gonna do it for this I do like his colors I think they work pretty good with the with the red and the <laughs> almost pink <laughs> It's a, if you want to be a man about it, you can say that it's um, salmon or something like that, but it's a, 
The only thing I really don't like about him is the is the head. I see where they don't have a lot of room for that. Maybe they could have made the little core guy transform a little bit differently or something. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what they could have done. I don't have really have any any real suggestions for this. Uh, maybe they could have. Uh, like they do with the hands, maybe they could have hidden the head up in something. Maybe they could have hidden like half of it in here in one of the arms and half of it in another. I don't, I don't know. But then again, they never used that kind of engineering with the original G1. So, all right. So that's that's pretty much it for Tusker. And don't forget to check out my other videos. I am gonna have a combined video, so you know, look out for that. And don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. This has been Tambiota, and I'll see you next time.